the sunbeam. Once upon a time, somewhere on Earth, there stood a tall tower, and all around it, there swam black clouds that were so black that even the sun could not shine through them. And there was a man who lived in that tower. He never left that tower because he had a lot of work to do. And he ate nothing but apples and threw the remains of the apples down below him. Episode 1 don't tell me any tales right now, Paul. I think this slogan is too good. It's lousy mineral water. People need something simpler. Breakfast is ready. And I'm not ready to meet their conditions. Or do you think I'm crazy? Daddy, hi. Hello, how was school today? We... If we go at their terms, we won't have the jackpot. We'll have nothing, Paul. We did math equations. Equations? In first grade? He's in second grade. Let's try offering them something like this. Uh, by buying our water... You improve, you improve by buying, you help ward off misfortune, strengthening the nations, nonsense. Okay, okay, I'll call you later on, all right? By buying our water, you help preserve nature. Mary. Yes? What do you think about London? And why do you ask that? Maybe education's better there. Okay, that's it, I'm off. I'll be late, don't wait up, I have a meeting. Bye, Dad. Bye. You haven't eaten breakfast. I have it right here. Don't pick at your food. Eat it, honey. just an accident. Oh, it's all right. Mm, it's okay. It happens. Don't be upset. Let me see. Okay, then. Go. Run. Go get ready for school. By buying our water, you help to save nature. Okay, again. There we go. By buying our water, you help to save nature. Yeah, I got it. Oh my god. Caleb, I found a good option for Stefan. Free boarding, 40% discount the first year. Your son can be accepted right now, Central London. Here's the link. Yes, Christy. That's an interesting option. I missed you. Are we on for tonight? Seven Green, Apartment 25? I'll wear something sexy. I miss you already. Kisses. That's the right address. Meet me at five. And if I'm late, you can get the keys from the janitor. I'll let him know that a beautiful girl is coming to see me. Kisses. Kisses. Buying our water, you save nature. Buying our water, you save nature. Huh. Buying our water, you save nature. Mm. You save nature. Mm. Now run. Bye, Mommy. See ya. Stefan's growing so fast. Amazing. Where to now, Chief? To Seven Green. Mary! 
Maybe you shouldn't go there. Paul, I knew it was bad, but please, don't worry. Well, what can I do, Caleb? I've already thought of a new one. Listen to this, okay? Buying our water, you save nature. It's genius. Huh? I think it's genius. Buying our water, you save nature. Hello? Well, yes, it sounds good. This, by the way, is a trend now, Caleb. Ecology, healthy eating, sports. And especially a strong family, Paul. Yes, excuse me, could you come here? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I, I, I need you to see this. Yes. What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> let's meet somewhere oh. tonight. Mm, I have a knife here. Oh, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. Well, how are you doing? As they say, colleagues, is the process moving? I can see that it is. Oh, what a beauty, I mean, of course. And what is this, huh? Let's check it out. Oh, what a wonderful perfume. What a smell. It's really crazy. Mmm. Amazing. George, wait, that perfume is yeah. meant for intimate hygiene. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'll kill you. Come on, come here. Why aren't we shooting, huh? Uh, the designers got stuck with the sets. Is that my problem? Look at the clock. What time is it? 4.30. Uh, yes, you should have finished by this time. Are you still just starting? Where's Caleb? Uh, he's negotiating. Everything is on the table!
Caleb, I'm leaving you. You'll never see us again. Please tell me, where are we going, Mom? Hey, I'll tell you on the way, son, okay? And Dad, too? What's the name, surname, and the first name? Whose name? Really, the Pope's. You don't need to be rude. If you can, let's hurry it up, please. Fine, let's hurry it up. I have no... Then come on. Surname, first name, middle name. It's Davy, Caleb, and Drew. So, Andrew, Caleb, Davy. Davy. So you, sir. Caleb Andrew Davy are claiming that your son was kidnapped. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. My son was kidnapped. They took him from my house to an unknown destination. From your own house? From my house. That's right. Okay, got it. From Caleb Davy's house. And kidnapped by whom? By Mary Lori. Lori. Mary Lori. Is she your wife? No. Lori. Mary. Okay, now you can tell me. Mm -hmm. What is your relationship to Citizen Glory? Look, what do you care who she is to me? I'm telling you, my kid was kidnapped and you're sitting here with your stupid questions. Maybe you need some kind of acceleration, huh? To make this faster. Who's in charge here? Come on, call me an investigator. Call the prosecutor. Is that not enough? Come on. Good afternoon. Hello. Major George Torgev, investigator. What's your name? I've already told him all of it. I know, I got it. What's the name of the kidnapped child? His name is Beam. What? I said Beam. He was born right at dawn. And what's Beam's name on his birth certificate? Stefan Caleb Davy. Date of birth? Around seven years old. Don't you know your son's exact birthday? I don't even remember my own birthday, Major. I work a lot. And who exactly is Citizen Lori to the kidnapped child? <sighs> well... She's kind of his mother, but not really his mother, you know? No, I don't know. A surrogate mother, Major. Have you heard of that? She carries the baby, gives it up, gets the money, and adios. There was no contract. She had no rights, but she lived with me. I wish I'd kicked her out sooner. Can you elaborate a little bit more? It's a long story. Do you want to find the child? Why do you think I'm here? And that's why I tell you, elaborate. Besides, you have nowhere to go. Okay, then. Listen. It started about... about eight years ago.
Hello, yes, Tony. Hello, Caleb. Hey, what's up? Um, here's the thing. Tony, I'm, I'm very busy right now. Can you come over tonight to see the house I've built, and then you can <clears throat> tell me about what's going on with you, huh? Um, uh, Caleb, uh, it's your mom. Well, she's dead. Tell me, who is Tony? Anthony Lappin. He's a childhood friend. He lived in the same house as me. What does he do? Mr. Investigator, please try not to interrupt. I'll tell you everything. I don't need everything. I need the essence. How did your mother die? She came out of the house. We said hello, and she suddenly fell, and that was it. I just spoke to her yesterday. The paramedics said it was a blood clot. She's never been in the hospital. That's how it is, my friend. And maybe it's for the best. At least she didn't suffer. Yes. Muffler repair. No need to sympathize. Let's get to the point. Yes. Yes. Tell the Japanese, let them keep their opinions to themselves. Hmm? Because we have a different mentality. That's it. I'll be right there. I'm sorry. I have to get to work. Yeah, me too. Hang in there. Mm hmm Like Tony in advertising. Oh, I hate those ads. I do too, but what can we do? Only fools and romantics refuse a good income. I need the exact job. <sighs> Creative director of an advertising holding company. Hmm. My mom wanted grandchildren. Thank you. Oh, thank you, my dear. You're so yeah, sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our mother is oh, 18. Thank you. There'll be You're a lot of friends and lots of presents. <laughs> <laughs> You're oh, wonderful. Oh, wow. These presents. <gasps> I told you, you silly woman. You'd better give me grandchildren and a well, good daughter-in-law. of course daughter I'll do that yes. for you. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. You're very special to me. Mommy, smile. Uh, I am smiling. You hear what I tell you? You need children. Promise me. It's true happiness. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. I promise you. I promise, Mommy. I promise you, Mom. I promise you. <laughs> Did I hear you right? You really need to get married and have children. I promise it will bring you happiness. You have to believe me. I know what will make you happy. You need to have some children. You'll have grandchildren. I promise. <gasps> he promises! You, my dear. Mwah. Well, well done. <laughs> That's enough filming me. Bye-bye. <laughs> feel fine. Why am I in these handcuffs? Am I a suspect? My child was kidnapped. Unlock the cuffs, please. I promise I won't fight again. I... I was anxious. So, do you have any relatives? Brothers, sisters, or maybe grandparents? Maybe Citizen Lori went to them with a child. Hmm. 
No. You know what I was thinking. I'm the only one left in the family. There's no one at all. There's no one. My mother was the only one left in the family. My father's dead. There is a way to improve that. Get married? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm talking about children. With whom? From these? They don't care who they sleep with. As long as the card's unlimited. No, don't be like that. Why shouldn't I? Look at these. Here. Oh, God. Now she's crazy. What about Kate? Shady. Natalie is a ballerina, thick as a plank. Anya is addicted to coke. So not a club girl. Mm. Oh, here's another one. Christy. At least she cares if I'm drunk. What about her? Mm. Mm, she's not bad looking. And she seems smart. She loves me. She's an interpreter. Well, maybe this Christy will help you give birth. Think about it. What's on your mind? Christina... Let's have a baby. You can have cats and dogs. But bearing a child is agony. I'm not ready for that. I'll give you money. You give me a son. What are you talking about? What children? I have a contract with the English. Then go back to your English hell. I could care less what you do. You're acting nuts. You'll play with this loser and leave her in a month. What about the kid? Hey, close the door. I understand. You need a surrogate mother. Yes, I'm glad you understand. Are you choosing for yourself? Tell me, miss, are you paid by your number of questions? You are a handsome young man, and as I understand, you have money, and you don't seem to have any real medical problems. It's for myself. The woman will live with me in the house in a separate room. The only condition I ask for is that she bears my child and then doesn't bother me in the future. Well, all of this, of course, will be written in the contract, but... But what? <sighs> a single man in our business is a risk. When they're faced with the difficulties of changing diapers, feeding, and sleepless nights, they leave the baby. The agency does not like those cases. Is that a no? Here, take your pick. It's a database of possible surrogate mothers and their photos. Photos? <laughs> Did you really think that the mother of your future child could be selected by a photo? <sighs> surrogate, she's not the mother. Mm. She's an incubator. Carried it, gave birth, sold it. She sold it? What's the difference? Demand determines the supply. It's a business. Huh. You have a photograph of your son? 
It's on my cell phone. is new. There's no photos of him. Okay. So then was Lori uh, in the database? No. None of these work for me. You looked at everyone. I'm sorry, I don't understand what type you want. Another one. Well, who's this girl? That one? Well, she's an out-of-towner. She wanted to earn money to buy an apartment. She was here yesterday. Nice girl. But she has never given birth. The agency doesn't like to work with such girls. They don't suit us. Mary Laurie is her name. Well, she suits me. Well, if you insist, of course I can. Yes, I insist. I can introduce you to her, but it will cost extra. Arrange a meeting for us. <laughs> Caleb, I'm sorry, but why go through complications? You cannot find a wife? I don't need a wife. I only need an heir. Coffee as usual, water and some aspirin. What? Please run to the pharmacy real quick. I don't understand. Are you new? I'm meeting a girl here. Greet her, I'll be by the window. Are you Caleb? Mary? Sorry, I didn't recognize you. I thought you were a waitress. Are you so arrogant with everyone? No, I just dine here often. They're used to... Hmm. So will you give me a baby? It sounds strange, doesn't it? It sounds fine. You'll give birth to my son, get money, buy an apartment. I don't need an apartment. I lied to them to avoid any further questioning. How come? I need the money. But why so much money? The thing is... Yes. Uh-huh. My father is a farmer. Right. He borrowed a lot of money with interest for a tractor and a combined mm -hmm. harvester. And then somebody set fire to our hangar. Okay, fine. The equipment was destroyed, but he still owes the money. Okay, fine. Let's finalize it later. Well, okay then. You give me a baby, I'll give you the money. Agreed? No. How come? Your eyes are too indifferent. Wait, hold on, girl. Do you want eye contact or do you want money? It's a child, not a business project. May I answer it? Yes, of course. Yes, Paul. I'll call you back. We're looking, we're looking. What's the lawyer's last name? Barsky? No, I haven't. Have him call me, okay? I'll see you later. Please excuse me. Oh, that's all right. Let's continue. Um, you said that Lori left after turning you down. Hmm. That's right. You could have looked for another woman and gone to another agency. No. Why? She 
she was like my mother. Real proud. Hey, wait a minute. You're proud, huh? You need the money and you're still complaining. Maybe I'm just scared. Of what? This is my first child. Huh. Maybe the only one. I may give birth and love it. And refuse to give it up. You'll have a cesarean and we'll take him away. Before you wake up. This isn't decent. Where have you met decency? Why do you need this, Caleb? Answer honestly. Honestly? I want to play soccer with my son. And if it's a girl? A girl? I'll send her to a stupid orphanage. I'm joking, come on. Is there anything good in you? Anything good? There is. I earn good money. Goodbye. Mary, please don't go. I understand how I look to you, scoundrel, cynic. But it's just a mask. How other people want to see me. Without the mask, they spit at me. Right at my soul. Do you understand? Okay, bye. Caleb! Inferno listens. Okay, let's try. You're quite persistent. Well, yes. I'm used to bringing goals to their conclusions. But a child is a responsibility. Wasn't it scary to go for it? Are you scared? At first it was scary. But now it's okay. You can change your mind if you want. N no. If I lose my deposit, I'll survive. But what will you tell your parents? Where'd you get the money? I don't know. Well, I will say I married an oligarch. <laughs> Married an oligarch. <laughs> Here are the procedures. Schedule of doctor's appointments, additional tests. We're ready, Mary. The doctors are waiting. And me? Well, you have done your job. You just have to wait. And you know, it might not take right away. Then you'll have to donate some additional sperm. Don't worry, I don't shoot blanks, believe me. <sighs> are you ready? And with you, Caleb, we'll talk later, okay? Well, this is it. Mm -hmm. Hold on, Mary. Let's at least hug. I mean, you're going to make our baby. Here you go. Huh. Off you go. Don't let us down, Mom. Yes. Yes. Caleb, sorry for the delay. It's Mary. I think we did it. So how long before the van? Just a few minutes. It looks like they ordered a small truck. I guess we're moving. Let's order another one. 
How long will it take with traffic, huh? Actually, we'll load part in the van, part in the truck. We'll do a few runs. A few runs? Mm hmm. To this goat land? Hello. Hello. This is Igor. He's my driver. He'll help you with the moving. The moving truck's coming soon. Why do you need movers? This is all. Just one bag? Yes. I just got to Moscow. With this luggage, 20 minutes by train. Huh. After you. Uh, cancel the truck. the living room. There's a bedroom up there. There's an orthopedic mattress. Very nice. What else? What's in here? The furniture's from Italy. Over there's the kitchen, by the way. The fridge, microwave, coffee machine. What else? Ah, bathroom on every floor. You'll probably be sick in the mornings. I'm not sick, you know. I'm pregnant. It's all the same thing. The keys are here, the card's unlimited. If you buy anything heavy, make a list. Mm -hmm. The driver will take care of it. Good. Or if you need to go somewhere. Can I change things around here? Go ahead. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like this. Я заболел, у меня температура. Так много дел и одинокое утро. Вилами по воде рисовался напрасно. Я заболел, подарите мне праздник. Тенью ввысь по стенам хрущевок Обернись, нету страховок Солнце луч покажется из-за туч Мой друг, я знаю, что такое грусть И никогда к ней не вернусь Тенью ввысь по стенам хрущевок Обернись, нету страховок Солнце луч покажется из-за туч Мой друг, я знаю, что такое грусть И никогда к ней не вернусь С высоты Полета птичьего вижу много чего Эти дома пустые картонки Мы вниз за картоном Город нарисован голодная Аризона Я поздно понял, куда надо идти Чтобы не быть заколдован Много чего над Москвой Пробки дорог, серый поток жизни не смог И я смог без него И все же спрячусь под зонт Я промок под дождем Это все, чего ждем Лишь тепла и летнего солнца И летнего солнца Я знаю, что такое грусть, и никогда к ней не вернусь. Тенью ввысь по стенам хрущевок, Обернись, нету страховок. 
солнце луч Подкажется не за туч Мой друг, я знаю, что такое грусть И никогда к ней не вернусь And what was your relationship with Glory during the pregnancy? <sighs> Purely business. And how do you think Lori felt about it? That's easy. I employed her. <sighs> My feelings towards you haven't changed, okay? It's just not going to be like before, Christina. Then do as you please. Go to hell. Bye. This will be over soon. You can bring whomever you want here. Hey, what is it? What is it, hey? Easy, 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 easy. <laughs> hey, mm. you can wake up. No, no, let's do it tomorrow. <laughs> you can wake up now, Daddy. <clears throat> you have a little son. What? Come on. Mm. This way. Here, you have a visitor. Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> I'd like you to meet Stefan. Amazing. There was no one and then ba-bang. <laughs> <laughs> and now a new person. And so, will you hold him, father? No, 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 I'm afraid. No, 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 don't. I'll break him. I'm afraid I might hurt him. Take him, take him. You'll get used to it. smiles. So little and he already smiles. Just like a sunbeam. <laughs> like a beam. Sunbeam. <laughs> Did you pay Lori for the birth of the child? Yes, right away. And why did you decide to keep her? After all, according to the agreement, she was supposed to give birth, breastfeed the baby for six months, and then disappear from your life and the life of the child. Well... It's already morning. I don't know. Were you intimate with her? Yes. So you lived together as a family? Well, you could say that. At first, I liked watching my son grow. Learning to walk, eating in funny ways. The usual things. And then, well, and then work and work and work and work and... Christy came along seven years later.
Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you get your breasts done? Oh, Kayla. We're going to. How are you? I guess all the same. The seminars, the Englishmen, many trips. Mm. You didn't get married? Mm -mm. How is your son? He's growing. Well, that's the way it is. That's it. Everyone has their own life. And I have a job, a house, and work. I've chained myself down. Well, so kick her out. After all, she's nobody and you're the father. Yeah, but Beam kind of thinks she's his mother. Well, send him away. I don't know. To a boarding school. In England, for example. He'll have a good education. He'll forget her. And then thank you. Let's go to my place. I have an apartment nearby. Oh, he's quick. It's been seven years. <laughs> <laughs> you could have had patience for a change. Well, maybe tomorrow. Give me the address. That was 7 Green Street? Apartment 25. Our meetings took place in a friendly and relaxed atmosphere. At least until today. Hmm. You could put it that way. I told you she was crazy. Mary! Mary! Mary? Are you home? Mary! You're a bastard. You'll never see us again. Well, that's pretty much it. <sighs> Missing. <sighs> Tell me now. Where would she go? What do you think? I don't know. We'll look for her. She's trying to protect her son, so she's hiding him from you. It's not hers. It's my son. Yes, of course. Can I ask you something personal? Yes, of course. Well, uh, if we find your son, what do you intend to do then? Well, like I said, I'm used to bringing things to an end. I firmly intend to get my son back. Are you certain? Absolutely. At any cost. Then, read this carefully at the bottom, write down, from my words written correctly, read by me, date it, and sign it. 